Hey guys, uh, welcome again to another session uh, on uh, Cosmos DB. Uh, this is Arun here. Uh, I'm working as an Azure consultant in Autos. So, so these are the uh, APIs supported by Cosmos DB. So, as you could see, uh, it supports NoSQL. It supports uh, MongoDB. It provides APIs for Cassandra, Postgre, Gremlin, and Tables. Okay. So MongoDB and Cassandra, as everyone would know, that they are already a doc MongoDB is a document-based uh, uh, database that is already provided in the market, and Cosmos DB basically supports the same structure. All you have to do is use this API for MongoDB and start uh, migrating or start uh, using uh, Cosmos DB as your backend. Okay. So uh, same for Postgre uh, SQL. Uh, Gremlin is basically a graph database, graph based database where you could uh, uh, work on relations, okay, or relations are your recommendations, okay. So, for example, in LinkedIn, you would have probably uh, come across a scenario where uh, your friend, uh, your friend has come, uh, communicated or uh, made a link with uh, some other person who shares the same interest as you. Right, you will get some uh, recommendations like that. So all that is uh, occurring through uh, database uh, or graph databases, which is based on uh, vertices and indices. Okay, so that is how recommendations work, and you also can see that in the uh, Amazon app, if you had uh, used that, where you will get uh, uh, you know people who have bought these products have also bought the the other uh, ones. So you will have recommendations like that, right? So those are those things are actually uh, coming from graph database. So Gremlin in one of the uh, uh, products in market that is uh, that utilizes uh, utilizes graph database, and you have Neo 4J as well. So there are multiple graph databases. So Cosmos DB uses API for Gremlin, and Tables is nothing but your uh, uh, Azure tables. So you, if you are actually using Azure tables, you could uh, start using Cosmos DB. So, what uh, Microsoft says is Cosmos DB is basically a uh, improvement on Azure tables. So, it's faster, it's uh, lightning quick, it is scalable, highly scalable, and they provide unlimited storage. So, you don't have to worry about anything else other than your uh, data. Right? So this is basically your uh, introduction on uh, Cosmos DB. Okay. So for this particular session, I will be concentrating only on NoSQL. Okay. So the rest uh, I will uh, cover in the later uh, sessions. Okay. So when I come, when you talk about NoSQL API, okay. So what is NoSQL? It basically, as I said, it basically stores uh, data in the form of documents are in the json format right so that is one uh, this is actually the native cosmos db okay so the other things are basically implemented through wired protocols this is the native uh, cosmos db uh, service provided by azure so any changes or any updates to cosmos db first reflects in no sequel Okay. And then once it stabilizes and uh, everything is a BAU, the same change is updated to the other APIs. Okay. So, even though uh, the documents are stored in the JSON format, the querying will still uh, uh, be in the form of a relational database or your RDBM. So, select star from table name will still work in Cosmos DB. Okay. So, you don't have to worry about your uh, query uh, syntaxes. So, whatever query syntaxes you use in uh, other, uh, your regular database, SQL Server or SQL, uh, that is going to uh, be accepted in Cosmos DB uh, as well. Okay. So, Microsoft recommends that if you are migrating from, uh, say, HBase or Hadoop based databases, uh, your Oracle, your DynamoDB, which is in uh, AWS. So you want to move over to, <coughs> you want to switch over to Azure. You could go ahead and use this Cosmos DB because the implementation is very easy. It is lightning quick. 
right uh, you you don't have to worry about scaling so everything is taken care of by microsoft you just have to migrate and start using the cosmos okay so this is all uh, with respect to the introduction let me now quickly uh, share uh, start uh, with the uh, actual portal okay uh, yes portal.azure.com now so the uh, portal or url to accept access uh, azure portal is portal.azure.com okay so this is a free service okay i mean you can actually use this as a free account so i would really urge each and every one of you if you don't have an account in azure create a free account okay so once you start working on the service and sun that is when you get to uh, know about the service and you will start appreciating what it what each and every service within the uh, azure platform brings to the table and how you could basically utilize those services to make your life that much more easier okay so once you create your uh, free account you go to the service blade okay search for cosmos db so this is what you will get so click on azure cosmos db okay and it will take you to the cosmos db page okay so now to begin with first thing that you will have to do is create an account okay so without an account in cosmos db service you will not be able to create any database in the cosmos db service okay so that is the first step that i will be creating now so these are the apis that i was mentioning uh, in the previous session okay there are six different apis and i am choosing no sql right now okay so for any service to be created within the azure platform you will need to have a subscription without subscription you are simply going nowhere within the azure uh, platform it can be free uh, subscription it can be pay as you go subscription it can be enterprise subscription or it can even be an msdn subscription it doesn't matter but if you want to utilize the azure platform or the services provided within the azure platform it is very important that you have an azure subscription okay so once you choose the azure subscription you will have to create a resource group resource group is nothing but collection of service within that uh, or basically like uh, you can say collection of uh, services that is intended to do a specific purpose okay so now i'm just creating a resource sample resource group my resource group okay so i will be creating the uh, uh, fin cosmos db1 okay so i will be creating this particular account within this resource group it is very important that you choose a globally unique name okay uh, because you will be using this particular uh, account while accessing your um, accessing the uh, uh, cosmos db within your source code so i am right now choosing central india because that is my uh, region so you could choose any region that is uh, closer to you okay so in the capacity mode there are two options the one is provision throughput the other one is serverless okay serverless when i click on serverless it basically takes care of everything this is you can think as if uh, microsoft you just have to worry about your data so microsoft will take care of all these scalings you don't have to uh, worry about additional throughputs or additional uh, partitions uh, getting added to your database nothing so when you have choose to serverless choose to go serverless microsoft will do for everything for you all you have to do is send data to cosmos db so use this uh, or choose this serverless option if you are actually into a development environment that is you don't know what is going how much of uh, data you are going to store within cosmos db okay so use that uh, use serverless if you don't know your 
data value okay or amount of data that you are just store but since this is going i know uh, how much of uh, data that i am going to store i am going to choose a provision throughput provision throughput is nothing but i am controlling how much of uh, data that i am going to store within this database and what is the uh, request unit or are you uh, are you ps value request unit per second is basically your input processing your memory processing your processing cycle everything uh, is uh, everything is determined by are you okay so with this option i am uh, controlling all those values so i am applying free tire discount because uh, this is going to be a development uh, work or like a study environment so i am applying this free uh, discount now click on global uh, distribution like this is how microsoft will ensure you have uh, a high scalable fast accessible database so what it basically does is they are going to replicate your entire database across the globe so that users from that particular region will be able to access the data without any latency okay so that is geo redundancy multi region writes is basically i am going to write this data whatever data that i am going to have i will be synchronously writing it to the entire database so that a user when uh, they are accessing this database is from at any point in the uh, uh, any point on earth right the whether it is india us europe africa i'm going to see the same data okay so there won't be any uh, discrepancies there so that is multi region right and you have availability zones availability zones is nothing but your uh, data will be replicated to three different regions within the availability zone so that when one uh, region goes out uh, the uh, other region automatically takes care of the load okay so this is how your data or your disaster recovery happens so since uh, i mean if you want you can enable this but since this is just for uh, training purpose i'm disabling it okay so this is next is connectivity so connectivity is nothing but you you know restricting uh, your uh, access or your database access to a particular network okay so i'm just choosing uh, all networks okay so when i choose public networks you can choose which network you want or if you want private endpoint you can ensure like uh, this will uh, be accessible only to load balancers like that so i'm just choosing uh, all networks and this is backup policy backup policy is nothing but if my database crashes for some reason okay i have enough backup or you know point in time backup in my uh, storage that i can retrieve the database and quickly fire up the service so that is how uh, that is the reason i mean that is the main uh, usage of this backup policy so you can choose when you want to do whether it is periodic or you want to do continuous continuous is nothing but point in time retrieval you can uh, retrieve it at any point in time okay periodic you can uh, say i want the backup to be taken every 2 hours once like that okay so that is periodic so you i have just chosen periodic okay periodic so here it says 2:40 2:40 is nothing but uh, 4 hours once yeah uh, i'm going to take the backup every every 4 hours once and uh, this particular backup will be available for 8 hours okay so that is what uh, i am giving here all these are globally made available because this is geo redundant okay now next this encryption encryption is nothing but <coughs> how do you want to encrypt that rest okay because if i am using this cosmos db to store pii data so i need to ensure like it is uh, encrypted at rest and it is encrypted uh, during transit transit is nothing but you will can take care of by tls so this encryption at rest is done by uh, using service managed key or i can use my own keys so service managed keys is nothing but microsoft provided you can also use customer managed or my own uh, managed keys here okay. and the tags is nothing but you tag it to a particular department okay so this will be easier to identify the when when i'm billing uh, each of my service i will know which department or which service is consuming 
more and probably I can work on uh, optimizing them. Okay, so these are the options currently present in uh, uh, Cosmos DB. So I'm not uh, doing any changes. I'm just doing the default here. So click on review and create. This is going to create the database file. So this will take again uh, two minutes for the services to get created. So in the meanwhile, I'll uh, while uh, the application is uh, or the uh, service is getting created, let me quickly talk about the architecture. Okay. Uh, so the main uh, arch or how uh, the database is architected is basically you will have an account. Okay. So so this will be basically your account okay so within uh, this account you will create the database so this will be your database okay. and within the uh, sorry let me put it in a different way this will be your database and within your database you will have individual containers and these containers will have individual documents or say it uh, they call it as items right. so these individual items represent an individual document whatever uh, documents that you are storing uh, within the cosmos db so that will go inside a container so this is the logic or the architecture of how cosmos db will store your data okay so our uh, program will be based on that uh, deployment is still process okay, so let's just wait for another two minutes <coughs> yeah so this is completed so i'm just going over to the resource now if i want to actually do Create items. Uh, okay. Let me go to data export. So, right now, I am going to now. So, I have an account now. I have created the account uh, which is called uh, Fin Cosmos DB1, and inside that, I am going to. I have already created a database. Right now. First thing is, I will need to create, a, let me create a new database. Okay, so uh, let me say I have a um, product, uh, let me say, or, uh, say uh, uh, a car's database. Okay, um, let me check. Let's say Toyota. Okay, uh, let me be manual. Okay everything is done. I'm creating a database right now so I have an account and within the account I have created a database so once the database is done I will need to create a container so that container will store all your documents so this is something similar to your storage so you have a storage account and within that storage account you will need to create a container and then uh, within that you will actually store all your blocks so something similar right so i am creating a date or new container under the database now i'm using here right. uh, let me say pass
okay partition key will be uh, i'll talk about uh, partition key later for now i'll just keep it as category so let, i'll uh, talk about partition key in detail in my later sessions okay so all these are done i'm just going to do enable 